want more. All done. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! It's so good she eat any spaghetti. <laughs> Hiya! Welcome to another vlog! Say, welcome to another vlog! <laughs> so today, we'll be vlogging and we'll be sharing you what Easy eats in a day. So she's 10 months old now and if you've been following us on Instagram, you already know that I have been posting her plates of the day. So, many of you have been asking me how much is she eating out of that plate and how do I prepare her plates. Mm -hmm. So, with that, we're doing this video in collaboration with Bibado. Yay! So, Bibado has kindly sent us their new coverall bib design even before it is out in the market so we're one of the first who will be able to try their new design so now we'll be unboxing it and we'll show you their new woodland friends design so here it is yay thank you so much bibado so if you don't know bibado yet people created the coverall bib and this has saved me a lot of time from cleaning and also easy hates cleanup after meals so this was a very very amazing idea so here is their new design it's their woodland friends just like from their dribble bibs so here how it looks like so we'll show you how we use our biba dough every meal and i'll show you as well how i clean it up the design has little foxes little hedgehogs and little deers and then leaves and it is gray in color and then the foxes and the deers are orange then there are brown hedgehogs and then the hem of the sleeves it's like blue green aqua green and as well as this one i love that it is gender neutral and yeah i am really excited to be one of the first to be able to try the new design i love it i will show you how we use it so let's go and make some breakfast so welcome to the kitchen now i'm preparing breakfast i will be making some pancakes for easy so it's just an easy pc pancake so i will show you what we need so for our pancakes we just need one ripe very ripe banana one egg a cup of porridge oats and then a teaspoon of baking powder and then just a splash of milk so i'm using oat milk because is allergic to fresh milk so i'm using that so that's it so we'll just mix all the ingredients in a blender and blitz it and then that's it we'll cook it So I was able to make six uneven sizes pancakes and to go with her pancakes, I will serve it with fresh berries. So I've got strawberries and I will cut it in heart shape using this cute little cutter I got from Amazon and then some blueberries and of course uh, her favorite yogurt. So I'm using the Alpro soya based yogurt because as i've said she's allergic to fresh milk so i'll be doing her plate and i'll show you when it's done And there you go, her little plate of the day. So I've added a sprinkling of chia seeds on her yogurt. So now it's time for breakfast. My little customer <laughs> is already hungry. So I'll just put on the biba dough. Yes, let's have breakfast. Perfect. 
So now let's get her plate and serve it to our little miss customer. There you go. Happy breakfast, Easy. So I do let her eat by herself, but at the same time, I try and help her like this. So I'll get this. See, so she can eat because if not, she'll just be playing, but she can still eat by herself. But yeah, helping her helps as well. She's almost finished with her yogurt. She had all her fruits and she had extra strawberry and blueberries. I think I gave her five more blueberries and one more strawberry. And that's all that's left with her two pancakes. So she's not eating much of the pancakes. So I need to help her with the pancakes. So that's how she eats for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> you love your breakfast? Yes. <laughs> so she had an extra spoonful of yogurt and that's what's left yes. in on her plate. That piece of pancake, but the rest, it's all gone. That's pretty amazing. And look at the mess. Such a lovely mess she made. So what I do with a cleanup, because she hates cleanup, I usually just wipe her face and her hands. But with this yogurt, it's, it's very sticky. I'll just give her a small bowl to wash her hands. Tiny little hands. And then you'll be surprised by how much food this little well here catches. So as you can see, there's a little strawberry and yeah. And so I'll just clean her face and her hands now and then I'll show you how wonderful and amazing this Bibado coverall bib is. Now we'll take her bibado off and you'll see that that's how quick cleaning her up is after a meal. And look how much time it saved me from cleaning her up and her clothes is all clean. Well done, baby. Flip, flip, yeah. With this kind of mess, like yogurt, you can actually just wipe this off, but because yogurt is very sticky, I just put this in the wash. So if you're washing it, make sure that the Velcros are secure. So one on the neck and then one on the elastic bit. So I would just fold this and then put it in a wash bag. So I've got this netty wash bag and I've used it before with our, all our other Biba dose. So it, this works for us and then secure the wash bag and that's it, ready for a wash. We'll put this in the wash now. So if you're washing it, make sure you wash it 40 degrees and then of course turn on. And I just do delicates. Then that's it. So Bibado recommends to use powdered laundry detergent and fabric conditioner. So I just use Easy's normal laundry pod so that works as well. So for drying, you can actually tumble dry it for the lowest heat possible. So if you want to dry it, or you can also just air dry it. So if you're from a place where it's always sunny, you can just air dry it on a clothesline. Or alternatively, if you're here from the UK and it's winter, you can use your radiators. So, so you can hang it on a radiator rack like this. Or if you don't have a rack, you can just use a towel to protect your bibado coverall so bib. Here it is. You have the towel and then the Biba Do coverall bib and yep, it's protected from the direct heat of the radiator. Or if you have an airing cupboard, you can also do that. Here it is. So you can also hang it on your airing cupboard if you have got one. 
So it's now lunchtime and I'm ready to prepare Isis lunch. So for lunch, I will be recreating a recipe that I got from the Bibado Tribe and Tested Cookbook. So if you don't know yet, there are two Bibado cookbooks that you can download online for free. So this one is their first cookbook and also the end they also have sample meal plans and then there's an empty meal planner at the end of the cookbook. So I'll be recreating this one so i'll be recreating the baby broccoli and spinach bites it looks like this so this recipe is from baby led winning cookbook and i will be doing this but i won't be doing it as bites or as cups i've done that before and ac loved it so i'll just be doing a cheesy broccoli frittata so here's my take on this recipe so, so this is what i'll be doing so i'll be using maybe half of the broccoli and then a medium-sized carrot and five british eggs i've got a handful of fresh baby spinach and then one tomato and then i'll be using grated cheddar cheese a bit of pepper and mixed herbs so that's all that i'll be needing so instead of muffin tins i'll be using an oven proof dish So now I've got my broccolis ready to steam. I have a rice cooker with a steamer here. So I'll be using this one. But alternatively, if you don't have one, you can just use a saucepan with a lid. And then you'll use a colander. So I've got this colander from Poundland. So that's a bargain. So you can just use that. Or you can also just boil it if you don't have a colander. So I will just be adding some water to my steamer. Just a little bit of water and then I'll put this thing and then put the lid on and then just turn and cook so it will keep boiling then I'll just use my egg timer and time it for 10 minutes so we'll wait for 10 minutes and what and while waiting I will be preparing the other vegetables so for the tomato I put it on a glass like this you need to be able to remove the skin easily I pour some hot water in because easy cannot swallow the skin of the tomatoes yet so it will be easier for me to remove the skin so I just soak it in hot water so I leave it there for a bit and then I'll prepare the other vegetables So here's how it's gonna look like. I've added another egg because I think five eggs wasn't enough. So I've added one more and just make sure that all the vegetables are soaked in eggs. So now I've already preheated the oven to 200 degrees Celsius and I'll put the dish inside for about 10 minutes and then we'll check it afterwards. So while I'm waiting for that to bake, I'll be preparing her plate. So I'll be using her bamboo bamboo plate. And then I'll just be cutting some fruits. Um, I've got a pear and a kiwi for her dessert. So I'll just cut them ready for her plate. So I've got this one. This is the flower shape. So...
Now I'm ready to put them in the plate. So here it is and now I'm just waiting for the frittata to bake and that's it. That's our plate of the day. So that's 10 minutes but I don't think it's ready yet. No, it's not. So let's try another 10 minutes. So here's the finished product. I ended up baking it for 25 minutes. And yeah, it's now ready. I'll just let it cool down for a little bit. Slice a bit for easy. And I'll show you how I serve it for easy. So here's our plate of the day. I just gave her this bit. And then if she'll want some more, I'll give her some more. all done now so here's her plate she's just drinking water <laughs> so here's her plate she finished most of it just a little tiny bits left and slice of kiwi she even had extra pears and yeah this is her plate this is a good day for easy don't worry if your 10 month old doesn't eat as much as easy because easy is a good eater in general but there are days that she doesn't want to eat she doesn't even eat even if i offer her her favorite food but yeah but generally she's a good eater <laughs> yes did you like it did you like it did you like your food yeah yeah oh yeah <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Daddy. <laughs> 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 just um, wipe it so you can just use damp cloth with warm soapy water or you can just use antibacterial spray you can just leave it on the high chair and wipe it clean but I want it on a flat surface like this so what I do is just I spray it with this just and then I'll just wipe it since it, it wasn't that very dirty so just the neck bit and a little bit here and then just 
the sleeves so yeah it's really easy to clean quite clean because of the material and it's waterproof so yeah and then i'll just leave it hanging here until it's dry and ready to be used again for the next meal or hang it like this on the high chair and then just wipe it wipe it clean so it's dinner time already so for dinner i don't normally cook every meal i usually use or reheat some food from the fridge or i have some food from the freezer so tonight i will be reheating a spaghetti sauce from the freezer so i'll be doing that so here's the spaghetti sauce it says spaghetti sauce and i made them the the 7th of january so not long so i only need a cube of this so this is um spaghetti sauce with beef and yeah i just need a cube of this and then a handful of dry pasta and then i'll show you how i cook my spaghetti so here's what i'll be using so i have a cube of the spaghetti sauce then a cup full of dry pasta i don't have spaghetti noodles so i'll just be using this fusilli and then just a little bit of olive oil and of course some cheddar cheese so i know i've said is uh, allergic to milk but she can actually tolerate cheese so that's great especially with spaghetti i really love a cheesy spaghetti so let's do this so i just boiled some water in a small saucepan and then i will add the cup a cup of the dried pasta tricolored pasta and then i will just add a tiny drop of olive oil so the pasta won't stick together so you can actually skip this but this is how i cook our pasta just a tiny drop tiny drop and because it's for easy i don't um add any salt so that's it i will just let that simmer for 10 to, to 15 minutes actually and then when it's almost done i will um, add the cube spaghetti sauce cube and then it will cook all together so i will just wait for the pasta to cook i will stir it occasionally and yeah i will show you when it's almost done so now i think the pasta is ready and i took a little bit off um the water so i left some and then i will just put the cube in and let it melt with the pasta and cook with the pasta and that's it the cube has melted and now i'll add a little bit of grated cheddar cheese So tonight's dinner, I will be serving the leftover broccoli from lunchtime. I know that she loves broccoli. I'm not really sure if it goes well with spaghetti, but she see loves broccoli. So I'm adding broccoli and then I'll scoop some of the spaghetti and I'll sprinkle it with a little bit of um, cheese. So it's cheesier. The cheesier, the better. <laughs> So she didn't want the spaghetti anymore so she had one of this biscotti and I'm not really sure if she's all done now you want more more 
More. She wants more. Here you go. I'll get you some more. Yay! So I think she did well with the spaghetti and some broccoli, but she didn't want any more, so she's just having um the biscotti now. So this is the kind of mess that I was dreading before we even started weaning. But thank goodness with Biba though, the amount of outfit that I have saved and amount of time with cleaning, it has been amazing. So, yep, I will just clean her up and then I will show you how I wash this kind of mess. Wipe lang, wipe, wipe. Daddy, daddy, wipe, 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 wipe. Is <laughs> it? <laughs> 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 Yay! It's as if she didn't eat any spaghetti. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so with this kind of stain like tomato sauce um, spaghetti sauce you can actually spray it with stain remover but with my other biba dough what i usually just do is soak it in warm soapy water so i've got powdered laundry detergent here and then just put some warm water And then I'll just soak the biba dough bib in the warm water. So I'll just leave it for a few minutes and then I'll hand wash. And then I'll spin dry it and then we'll see if it works with this one. This design is a little bit light colored so I'm not really sure if the tomato sauce stain will um, be removed with this kind of procedure but we'll see i'll just soak it now and then i'll leave it for a few minutes and then i'll show you later so it's been a few minutes so we'll see how it went so mostly it is stained on the neck part and it's mostly gone as you can see and then also this part on the sleeves there's still a little bit and the other one yeah mostly gone so i'll just hand wash it for like few seconds just to make sure that the rest of the stain is gone and then you'll see four other parts just a little bit there so i think the warm soapy water actually works even without a stain remover so yeah i'll just do this check for more stains a little bit here so now I'll just rinse this and then it's ready for the spin dry so same thing as we did this morning secure the velcros so we have two, one here on the neck part and one here. Make sure that they're together. And then just fold it a little bit and then put it in a wash bag and secure the wash bag. Now it's ready to go to the washing machine for spin dry. Let's do it. 
So that's it. That's what my 10-month-old baby eats in a day. And that's how we use our Bibado coverall bib. As you have seen, it saved us a lot of outfit, saved us a lot of cleaning time, and yep, it just made my mommy life a lot easier. You can get Bibado from their website. So at first, it might look like it's expensive, but I tell you, based from my experience, I promise it's all worth it. And I also have a code for you, 10% discount. If you want 10% discount, you can use EC10. Or if you buy two bibs, you can get 25% discount if you use the code EC2430. So two bibs for 30 pounds. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. And I hope you learned from it as well. And if you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and see you on my next one bye